The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's the United States versus Canada. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, they high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And the contest begins. Robinson. Aronson. And it's with McKenney. Well, it's been clear throughout this tournament that the U.S. men's national team has taken a leaf out of the U.S. women's national team book. And here they are in the final from the depths of despair in 2018 when they missed out on the World Cup altogether. Now, potential winners. Are they going to do it? Well, they certainly deserve to be here. I think they've defended well. They've been fit. They've played some great attacking football at times. They've got crosses into the box. If they play at their very best today, they could emulate the women and be the world champion. Oh, they champion. could finish here, Stuart. And the post getting in the way. And a time for calm on the ball. Perfect challenge. Well, they've started really brightly here. They were so close to taking the lead. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Delivering it. Atiba Hutchinson. Now oh, Christian Pulisic, someone who can dominate a game with his play on the ball. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever. But it's the... Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next.
Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Tyler Adams Adams and Canada have the ball again Atiba Hutchinson a chance to whip it in still on level terms moving the ball nicely And the referee says penalty. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. This to open the scoring here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And Canada will get the throw in. Firing it towards goal. And a decent save. Full credit. Playing it short. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Jesus Ferreira. Serginho Dest. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And with that, he's been dismissed. Well, they're going to be under pressure now. That's a needless sending off. Walker Zimmerman Weston McKenney Brendan Aronson and through for the goal kick he hit it with power Jonathan Osorio well, high quality defending Ferreira Pulisic and very deftly cut out We're getting the ball forward now he must favour the cross. Mm. 
And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Brendan Aronson. The story so far is one of failure in possession. This looks more than decent. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up the goal. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And so the match... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And they need to get tighter. Davies. It should be. And keeping it out. Robinson. Pulisic now. Aronson. A very timely interception. Jonathan Osorio. Buchanan. Just the challenge that was required. Jonathan Osorio. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. Very quick thinking there. This looks interesting. Not hard to read that pass. Eustachio. And the ball back with the US now. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it petered out. Eustachio promising attack this so a goal kick is what's coming up here and a substitution in the offing Robinson Jesus Ferreira, a very effective challenge put in. Tejon Buchanan. Buchanan. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, no stopping him. And he might be through here. What next in the drama?
Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So, a level contest. 1-1. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Oh, could be! Oh, good save to keep them level! Well, at this stage of the game, that's a vital stop. Fantastic from the keeper. And they will make the change now. Who's going to get on the end of it? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Can they hit on the break? And a throw in for the United States. Adams. And Pulisic has it. Oh, it might be. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Five minutes to go. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Trying to deliver it accurately. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. And this confrontation is underway. Substitution for the hosts. Coming well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time. And I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Teammates available. Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've created opportunities, they've created chances, but they just haven't taken any. It's been a really poor display in front of goal. They've got to do a lot better with their finishing. Brendan Aronson and it's with McKenney Timothy Weah oh they've lost it Richie Larea Stephen Vittoria and he read it well Jonathan Osorio did well to win the ball back. 
Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Osorio has it. Good bit of pressing. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced. McKenney. Not high quality defending. Could be a chance to break here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Pulisic. An alert intervention. Adekubi. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. And the keeper did more than enough. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. They favoured a short one here. And comes again from the flank. Ball is loose. McKenney. Gives it a go. at this stage of the final a huge moment well let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved they've played really well so far Back underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. So, one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. He's got to score! And the referee blows for full time. They've only gone and won the World Cup. And what a performance, not just today, but throughout the tournament. They've been absolutely brilliant. Hats off to them. The world champions! It's music to their ears and music to the ears of their fans. And this is what you dream about as a young player and these players are now World Cup winners. It's absolutely magnificent for them.